Today I'm giving you two free presets and two free actions that I use in just about every photo I produce. I have one preset for interiors and one for exteriors that I use as a starting point for literally every image I create. And I have an action for blending a dark and a light ambient exposure and another action for blending a flash frame with an ambient frame. If you don't care about watching how I use them and you just want the free download, click the link and have at it. The first preset I have is for exteriors. Whether it's a residential home or a big commercial building, if I'm shooting outside, this is where I start. First, a little sharpening and noise reduction. Then a moderate amount of contrast. The highlights get pulled halfway down and the shadows get pulled halfway up. The whites and blacks also get a slight bump. And finally, we add just a touch of texture and clarity. Here are a few examples. The next preset is for interiors. Again, it doesn't matter if I'm shooting a living room, kitchen, commercial office space, or a retail store. If I'm inside, this is my starting point. The sharpening and noise reduction are the same as with the exterior preset. Then, just a little bit of contrast. The highlights get pulled way down and the shadows go halfway up. The whites go up a bit and the blacks go up just a touch. And we end with a little dash of texture and clarity, a bit less than we did with the exteriors. Let's look at a few more examples. These are very simple and basic, and with my Canon R5, these presets give me a great starting point for all of my edits. It's worth noting though that your camera's RAW files might not look the same with these presets when they're applied. Now, onto the actions. The first action is one I got from Hunter Loma Yeswa's YouTube channel, and I use it for blending a dark exposure on top of a lighter exposure to bring back highlights that are lost. It works like this. You put a dark layer on top of a light layer, click the action button, and bam, they're blended. Hunter made this action and gave it out for free on his channel a long time ago, so now I'm just sharing it, but more importantly, I'm showing you how I use it. Hunter has a lot of great and helpful videos on his channel, so definitely check it out. This is an example of how I might use this action for an exterior photo with a lot of dynamic range. Of course, both of these frames also have my exterior preset already on them. And now for an example for an interior photo, again with the interior's preset already applied. Remember, blending exposures like this is just a small part of my editing process. If you want to see my entire workflow from start to finish, you can check out the editing workshop I have available at adamtaylorphotos.com education. On that page, I also have a lot of other educational resources for architecture, interior, and real estate photographers. My most popular workshop is one where I explained an entire residential architecture shoot from start to finish. So that was landing the client all the way to having the project featured on the cover of a magazine. I also have a whole year's worth of top of mind email templates that you can use to market yourself to A and D clients. All right, the next action I'm giving you is one dubbed Fast Flambient, created by Nathan Cool. For this one, you put a flash frame on top of an ambient frame, click the button, and bam, a beautiful blend. Just like Hunter, Nathan has a lot of great content on his channel, so go check out his page as well. I put a link in the description. Now let's look at a few examples of when I use this action. We'll go back to an example where I've already used my preset and the exposure blend action. And now we use the fast flambian action on top of all of that. Here's another one where I'm combining both actions. With both of these actions, it's really common for me to change the opacity to my liking after I've played the action. And other times I brush away some of the layer mask as well. And in addition to playing the actions on top of single layers, it's also super common for me to play the actions on top of an entire group. It works just the same. Again, these photos are far from finished at this point, but this is one big step in my overall editing process. With that said, if you're doing quick turnaround real estate work, using the preset, then both actions can get you like 90% of the way there in just a few clicks. For example, if this photo was for a real estate listing, you could just throw on a curves adjustment layer and I'd say it's ready to go on the MLS. I use both of these actions so much that I actually created a custom shortcut in Photoshop. So when I press F5, Hunter's exposure blend plays. And when I press F6, Nathan's fast flambient plays. Real quick, here's how you set up those shortcuts. In your actions panel, just double click to the right side of the action you want to select. Then select the function key you want to assign to the action. If something is already assigned to that key, it will ask you if you want to override it. Simple as that. Tag me on Instagram when you edit an image using one of these actions or presets and go to adamtaylorphotos.com education to see the other resources I have that might help you out.